I've come here to talk about surfboards, Grasshopper. Surfboards. Okay, so the last and the, the lucky last one in, in the, my quiver, and it's, um, it never leaves my quiver, this board. Uh, it doesn't leave Ando's quiver. It's on every trip that we ever do. But it's the, um, it's the Hitho Crypto model. Uh, definitely, you know, a board that, you know, a lot of people probably potentially have ridden and, um, or have heard about. But, you know, my favorite in the Hipdo is a 5.4, 19.5 by 2 and 3 eighths. So uh, the way I like to ride this board is definitely short, but with enough volume in there. So this one's around 27.8 liters of volume in this board. But I find that with the Hipdo, you really want to be able to kind of have your front foot. You can see where my front foot is. It's really quite close up to, to the logo. It's definitely in forward of the center point of the board and up around all that volume up around the chest area of the board. I find that if you're not standing with your front foot up around that area of the board, the, the volume in front of your front foot starts to control the, the lines that you're drawing on the board and um, kind of controlling you know, you're drawing more kind of like extended arcs and little, you know, kind of being caught out onto the open face a bit more. So when you're riding the hip dough a little bit shorter, you can really kind of center your weight over your, over that sort of surface, that not only surface area, but volume in the board and start to control where you, and, and control where the board wants to go. So, um, you know, why do I like riding the hip dough and why do I ride it a lot? Um, it's because it's, a board that I can just get on and feel connected with like instantly. Um, obviously I have ridden it for a long time, but whether I get off a plane and I'm jet lagged and you know, the waves are actually really pumping and they're good, I can paddle out on this board and feel really connected, yet have the board respond um, you know, and connect with the waves enough that I can really um, you know, basically surf the wave and really enjoy riding the wave. Um, it's definitely a board that isn't, and hasn't been designed to come off the bottom and really drive through the lip and throw your fins. It's not that type of board. It's come from a single fin design of mine and it's more gone from a single fin, which is a cruisier board, to a, a cruisy performance kind of design. So I've added performance elements into a traditional kind of um, style of shape and um, the kind of giving it a bit more spark to, to kind of how it rides. So it definitely likes to ride on the open face and you definitely want to, you know, stand a little bit more forward on this board, run down the, the, the line, and then once you build up your speed, you can kind of step back on the tail and start to kind of find the pocket and, and really kind of surf off the rounded pintail in the, in the back end of this board. Um, you know, generally when I'm taking off on this board, I really like to feel my front foot around the front area of the fins. Um, there's enough width in that design and enough kind of surface area to get the board up and planing. And the, the single concave um, really blends into that V double um, quite fa far up on the board. So, you know, having your foot up a little bit further really connects you to that single concave along the rail line of the board and, uh, you know, gets you up and going, especially when the waves are smaller. Um, in terms of where to when and where do I ride this board? Um, this board for me goes best when I'm in the best waves that I, I can ride, which for me a best wave is, you know, four to six foot barrels running for 500 metres if, if a, a reef goes that far or a sand point goes that far. Um, that's, I'd choose those types of waves um, hands down over any other type of wave. So um, the, the, the Hipto surfs amazing in those conditions. You've seen Ando ride it out at Desert Point, G Land, if, um, you know, over in, uh, West Africa, and um, they're the types of waves where this really bo this board really starts to excel and show the you know the full extension of like the performance elements of the features within this board, and and that's where you know where I um, will go surf this board and, and enjoy riding it the most. Um, yet I can take it out at you know LA or here in Sydney and, and go and connect with it amongst you know, all the, the busy schedule with work and everything and, and have a great time surfing out for pretty much every session. So, yeah, in terms of memorable um, surfs on this board, uh, down in Mexico, uh, there's, you know, lots of point breaks down there and I've been lucky enough to surf some, some amazing point breaks down there and, uh, you know, I normally pack two, five, four hip and that's it, we call it a day. So, um, 
you know, it's definitely the board that I would surf down there. But in Indo last year, up in the Tellos, um, I was, I'm, a bu I'm bummed that I actually don't have the board here. Uh, it's back in LA, but I have a quad fin Hipto that I've been working on with my new rear quad uh, fin that's coming out with Futures this year. And, um, you know, there's, I've, I've shaped a few with the, with the rear quads before and have, I mean, to make it work, we've had to shift the cluster of fins completely up the board and, and really move it around a little bit. But I, I surfed that over in the Tellos and really had fun on a left-hand point break over there and um, really connected with uh, the fin placement for this design. So uh, lately I have been riding it a fair bit as a quad, but it, which surfs amazing, but I think it might surf a little bit better as a, um, as a thruster for me personally. Um, I like that kind of centralised kind of feel of the centre fin. Um, the board's already so fast, so being able to just kind of find that centre point and just really kind of, you know, move around the pocket and, and just kind of connect uh, with the centre the center fin, I find really fun. But, uh, you know, everyone's got their own personal feelings and, you know, it surfed really amazing as a quad. Um, you know, in terms of features that I personally like, you know, in terms of, you know, I look at a lot of shapers boards and, and really appreciate what a lot of guys do. And um, one of the things which I find what really works well with this board is, is the, the, you know, the rolled V in the entry and, and the way I've got the, you know, the, the quite a pinch kind of um, rail through the front end of this board. And I really enjoy being able to surf forward on this board and not have the front end catch when taking off late and um, playing around with, you know, anything, you know, when it's three to four foot, it's quite playful when you can pull into barrels and really sit really far forward on the board on your backside and kind of be positioned way up front and, you know, grabbing the rail and just, just enjoying riding the barrel. Um, that's where I think this board goes best. So, you know, this is the, the Hipto Crypto, um, five, four, 19 and a half, two and three eights. And I pretty much exclusively only ever ride this in the Future Flex. I think that this technology um, really works amazing in this type of design because it has a lot of uh, subtle and more forgiving features in the board, the technology and all the response that you get out of um, and the life that you get out of this technology really works well with this style of shape and this particular shape. Um, so yeah, that's, that's probably definitely my favourite and I think it's going to be a favourite for a long time.